you know, we, we need to, to work on, on the base of what we have uh, because, you know, we don't have uh, uh, 50 mags or 10 mags. So uh, I don't want to give uh, some information, but we need to adapt ourselves in the base of what we have. So uh, it's, uh, it's harder sometimes, you know, because uh, if you can have all the technology, all the equipment you need, it could be easier. But the hard job becomes when you have uh, uh, few resources and you need to adapt to the job because this is the job that needs to be done even if with few hammers with a few mags with uh, not the last model we are used uh, FAL it's great platform so long so big the air one but 308 is, is a good caliber but you know you know we uh, we built it our sling they they they, they, did, they didn't have a sling we built it together as sling now they work with a sling so there are many things that you need to build many things that you, you need to share with them to take them to the basic asset to work but they they have passion they love their job they know they they uh, how is important you know to preserve those animals uh, to preserve for their country because you know the animals here are as a, as a are a big resource for for tourists, for money, for everything, for the economy, you know. And also, it's, uh, it's important to protect them because uh, there are a few thousand of them. So the guys put heart in what they in what they do, and this is why I am here because I love I love this place, I love this land, and I love this job with them. But it's hard job. Man. The perimeter fence protecting some of the world's last rhinos extends over 120 kilometers, covering a landmass roughly the size of San Francisco. There are two ways to patrol this vast area of land. I'm gonna meet you there now, going our way, okay? Motorized patrols cover large areas, but their presence is telegraphed by engine noise, allowing the poachers to vanish into the savanna. Patrols on foot, although more effective, becomes a complex chess match between the rangers and the poachers and is limited by resources and human endurance. Our management route that used by the vehicles as it's easy for our enemies to can track us. Then we like to use only cross over the animal path just to can check which direction did the animal go or is there any tracks of human being on those foot tracks. Then from there we move on doing our duty. These hurdles are further compounded by weaknesses along the fence line itself. So one of our biggest Achilles heels is these sacrificial fences at river crossings. We can't have a permanent fence here because when it floods, all the debris comes down and it will remove 100 meters of fence line. So we have to have these fences that can move with the flood line, but that creates a gate for the poachers to come in through. So they don't need to climb over the fence, they just open it up, they climb through, they separate the electric strands and they climb through. Despite astronomical odds stacked against them, some of the last rhinos on Earth stand a chance at survival against an increasingly sophisticated and militarized criminal poaching syndicate because an intrepid band of rangers are committed to fight the good fight. Brought to you by Six Hour. As the first training day ends, the specialized Team Zero International counter poaching team are treated to spectacular views that only highlight the scope of their challenge. Progressing from the previous day's instruction, the rangers are given even more tools, along with contextual considerations that would allow them to execute their new skills within the unforgiving context of their environment. You don't need to jump on the ground, because you don't know what you can find. And when you have high grass, like you can hide in a rock, if you are in a position, it's easier if you, if you are in a 
extend that position could be a little bit harder. So we need to follow. We need to block our weapon, we need to control our weapon, then we approach the ground, then back with the legs. In this way, we can go high, a short distance. We block the, the leg. We stay on the ground, and this leg is blocking. Here I can engage in a short distance, high target. Understood? We are here and then I go ha ah, same project. I can do it step by step. First, I can use two knee, one knee, I can go uh, in knee position, then I can go up. After an intensive individual soldier's skill development program, the Rangers advance into team tactics and movement. So when you retreat, you need to follow this line because it's safe. Yes, yeah, you pass yeah, behind yeah. all the man, you just need to go external. So if the last man is here, don't go here, because you break the angle. With the clock ticking, the instructors consolidate training information and look ahead to the daunting task of training the Rangers on vehicle tactics.